Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to talk about weaving. It's one of the things I really love to do. Um, from very simple weaving, uh, this is some sari ribbon, and I've cut strips and just woven them up. And to keep them all in place, I would have pinned them all. And then I've just done some stitch down the middle. Now this could be a, a you know, a wrapping for something or part of a wall hanging. You could add lots of other things to it. That's extremely simple. The ones that I like to do often, I will, will actually lay the fabric and pin it and do it as a very tight weave. But this one here, this is a weave where I've used a, a card and I've done a lot of um, laid out my, I've got a weft in a weave, in a weave and I've laid out uh, my sari ribbon so, which is really good for weaving, but other bits and pieces, bits of stitchy stuff. And then I've stitched it to make it look like it's going, you know, weaving the other way. So I've used buttonhole stitch a lot, but it's a good sort of pretend weave, this one. And then you can use it as a grate, as a background and all those sorts of things. Um, here, here I've used, this one here is taking a piece of cardboard. Here's a piece of card just any old card you've got, cut some shapes out of it. This is a good one for travel. You don't need any equipment. You don't need a, a you know, a loom. Um, you, you've made yourself a wooden loom. And when you've finished, you can just cut it off and use it. So you can see here, I've wound all my yarn. It's a banana thread, I think, and over and backwards and forwards. But I would cut it off and work out how to put the rest in. And I've woven with things I found in that sort of Kimberley, um, colors so I've got a bit of um, uh, you know paper tissue text on felt that's been stitched across the bottom some machine wrapped cords I'm just tiny so that use whatever you've got here I've used some silk thread that I've woven through this is a bit of silk eyelash that I've used to give a bit of texture and then I've moved on to uh, sari chiffon ribbon you know it's really pretty scraggy but it's and left the knots and things on the outside. Now I could put a, a, a slip on the top of that and like I've added something on this one um, or leave it as it is or wrap it into something. What's happened here is it has moved up a little bit um, and become quite tight. Uh, if you didn't like that, make sure you that you measure it all out and make it go. But it's just a really good thing to do. And it's good to, for little kids, you know, to use with kids as well. Um, young people are very easy to, to create a piece very fast. And all you need to use it is a big darning needle, like a, um, a large chenille. Uh, and or just physically wrapping your things through. But a large chenille is, is much better. So that's that one. And this is a little wee one that I started. And to do this, um, I've simply wound it around again, left it fairly loose, um, and this is a bit of silk thread. And I could just pull it really tight across like so, here, and get my big needle, which I haven't got, and then wrap it around to fit. Or I could leave it fairly open, so you're weaving and adding other things in. Uh, this is... Uh, so it's all ready to, as a layering piece, to add over something else. So weaving is, is many more than things than just having a loom. And uh, there's some beautiful woven work, work around. But I'm looking at just quick and easy things. You can do little weaving with uh, machine thread, um, you know, rayon thread, 40 weight thread, or heavier stuff. And the one that I did in here, which I know I've showed before, I've just got to find it. Uh, and it's... This one here was again woven on cardboard like this, like this one, a little bit, a bigger, slightly bigger piece of cardboard, I think. And I've woven it backwards and forwards and the edges to when I've got through here, I've just let them stick out a little bit in place. And then I came back later. So I stitched all around it with different threads to different yarns just to give it texture. So it looks like a, a big giant grid, but it's actually just a woven piece. So a grid or um woven it's just a way of of using up and making some texture on what you're doing so there yeah, that's my suggestion for this week i hope that's been a little bit useful to some people see you again next time bye